Well, our mission basically is to develop power systems that generate electricity because we firmly believe that electricity will be moving people around in the next wave of mobility for humankind. In product development, like all companies in the clean energy space, we're trying to deliver on the three promises, which are energy security, environmental quality, and economic opportunity. Nuvera got started by combining two emerging technologies. On one side, the hydrogen generation technology through reforming, and the fuel cell stack technology, the electrochemical device that converts hydrogen and oxygen into electricity. PowerTap is our on-site hydrogen generation product which supplies uh, on-site hydrogen to customers, forklifts, and fuel cell vehicles. The PowerTap on-site hydrogen generator is designed to operate off of natural gas. We do this because it's a readily available fuel. There's over two million miles of pipeline within the United States going to 69 million customers today. We're using the same natural gas that you are in your home, running your boiler, running your hot water heater. Nothing is different. This uh, box, we like to call it actually a hydrogen generation appliance. We've taken large scale industrial process and intensified it. We have natural gas and city water come in on the utility side. It gets conditioned and then is sent to a steam methane reformer. It combines the steam as city water, combines the natural gas, and it breaks the bonds into a hydrogen-rich stream, which in the industry we call syngas. After that fuel processing, it goes to a purification step where we get a high purity hydrogen, which is required for our fuel cell stacks. Within inside this canister is our steam methane reformer. It is taking the fuel and city water, it's converting the both into the syngas. We do sell these to both warehouses that are using forklift trucks, and also we're looking at opportunities to do merchant hydrogen, which is generating hydrogen for outright sale of the gas. The hydrogen refueling system that we have developed is based on the reformation of uh, natural gas reacting with water. There's a lot of critics of this approach because we're using a carbon-based fuel. While it's not totally carbon free, it's an obvious choice as a part of the roadmap to carbon reduction. The stack on top you see is a commercially available stack that goes into our Power Edge systems. These are systems that are provided to the material handling market as battery replacements. It's intended for industrial, kind of heavy duty industrial applications. The real advantage of fuel cells over other power plant type technologies is they are inherently scalable. So if I need a stack of just one kilowatt, there it is. If I need this stack to be 90 kilowatts, I simply add cells to it. In terms of the prime power plant, the prime energy converter, it's real, it's today, we're doing it. They're ready, they're reliable, we're deploying them in fork trucks. The fork truck market is an ideal proving ground because it's, it's a vehicle that's already electrified, it already uses batteries, and we're proving that the, the fuel cell has value in displacing batteries in that application. This system is designed to, so that the user can push out the lead acid battery, put in our system and the truck doesn't know the difference. It's a hybrid system which has, instead of the gasoline powered engine, we have a fuel cell engine, which actually is one of the nice points about fuel cells is that with the, the growth of hybrid technology in over the road vehicles, you can very easily see how you could take the internal combustion engine out and put a fuel cell in. In the, the traditional power supply system for electric forklifts, you have big racks and racks of lead acid batteries. For every truck, you have up to three batteries. And when the battery dies, you have to take it to a specialized machine that pulls the battery out, puts it up on a rack to be charged, and puts a new battery in. All this is very time intensive. A battery takes eight hours to charge and eight hours to cool. This system takes about two minutes to refuel. This is a fuel cell stack. This is what I call the dry end of the system, because there's no water. This is the wet end. There's a condenser here for managing heat and water. So as a fuel cell runs, it creates water. This manages the water to keep it from getting too high or too low, and also rejects the heat. Also in here, we have the fuel handling components that take the very high pressure from the tank and step it down. There's an onboard computer, which allows the fuel cell system to provide you with intelligent power. A lead acid battery is just a dumb battery. 
It can't tell you anything about how healthy it is or how productive the operator is. And what it will do is it will just you know, slowly drain down in performance over the course of the shift, just like a flashlight that's going dim. What you find with these is you'll have consistent power. When you talk about family cars or SUVs, batteries will be too heavy and too bulky to be deployed and too expensive. To put a battery in a minivan today, you would have to add about 450 pounds. And that's carrying a gorilla inside your car. It's an invisible gorilla, but nobody wants a gorilla in addition to the car you have. That's where the fuel cell will come in and we'll have the right substitute in that case. Funding provided by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory, the Energy and Environmental Research Center's National Center for Hydrogen Technology, and the members of Prairie Public.